Good morning, everybody, and this is your S&P 500 day trade setup for today. So a uh, couple of things. So uh, Friday was a pretty big sell-off, and uh, we've had a fairly big gap up. Challenge that we have at the moment is that we have a gap here, and uh, it's a weekly gap. Weekly gaps are normally uh, sort of, I won't say breached, but they normally close in the same week that they formed, uh, often sort of in the second, so Monday, Tuesday. Uh, they start pulling back, close the gap, and then, you know, they pile in. So the traders are going to be coming back from their long weekends, and the U.S. market to be operating correctly or f op uh, at full capacity, should I say. And uh, that could impact the direction we're going at the moment. So a couple of things to pay attention to. We had this consolidation area. Um, we've broken it. We are now coming back to test the break. So this level here is key at the moment. And we'll get that done. We'll get to that on the lower time frames. If we start looking at the three hour, a uh, couple of things to pay attention to. First thing is gap to the upside, gap to the downside. That's a daily gap to the upside. That's a weekly gap to the downside. Weekly gaps are way stronger magnets than daily gaps. And uh, so that's why we're looking to the left. We're looking for structure. Here is the structure. What is that structure? Is it a rejection or are we going to get it back above it and find support? Uh, to me, the most logical move is going to be a rejection of this area for a continuation of the downside. We have breached the moving averages. We do have a crossover as well. So that is the most logical choice at the moment. But the US markets are in a very strong uptrend. So um, that logic doesn't always play out. Okay, so that's what we're looking for here. If, we can, if we're going to get a rejection of 46.53 area, then there's a strong possibility that we're going to move down, close this gap. First bit of support, real support, is at 45.50. And um, I was saying that last week, it would be nice to get down to 45.50 because that offers a fairly decent um, area to buy back into this for pretty much trading and long-term portfolios. So I'm paying very close attention to the S&P 500 right now. Um, see where we get. If we can get the pullback, then that's the area to buy off, which is 45.50. If I come to the weekly, uh, you'll see why it's a, a weekly, sort of a weekly high and then pull back off that and structure. So that's kind of what I would assume is going to go on, but it's going to be volatile. Um, nobody really knows what's happening right now. And uh, you know, this fall could have been a knee-jerk knee reaction. So a lot of the scientists are saying it's a knee-jerk reaction. Um, you know, the new strain is not, it's unknown but uh, from the data they have at the moment it is fairly mild compared to some of the other strains that we've had so you know if that data comes out and it's reinforced then obviously the new jerk reaction will be you know, will be wiped out basically so we'll get back to the top and possibly break through the highs and then continue but you know if the data is different and we start worrying and we start worrying about worldwide economies again which we worrying about the buybacks early last week but now we start worrying about the economy and uh, what the impact is going to be. And you should see a rejection of that. So kind of a 50-50 call. Uh, I'm kind of sit on hands until I can see some structure. These two gaps here, I'm very wary of them. You know, we could target either one of them, to be quite honest. And I would prefer that the weekly gap closes first. And it basically turned in no man's land. So if you look at, at where it turned, if I just do that you look to the left there's no real level there yeah you would have expected if it had turned off there that would be a different scenario but we didn't we closed below that and I'm looking at my fractals uh, as my level so the next logical level would be there which we didn't quite get to but if you look to the left there's a much bigger level lower down and I'm just going to put a third line in because we need to have that structure. So that's what I'd be expecting. That is a fairly decent pullback. And uh, at the moment, turning in no man's land with gap to the upside, gap to the downside, it's uh, just something which I want to be sitting quietly on the side for structure. And uh, there's no structure here. If we start rejecting this level here, definitely structure. That's 46.53 area. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wait and see what transpires. And if we do get up here, you can probably get away with a 
uh, I would say I would give it 150 point stop loss to be honest so if you give it 150 pip stop loss that would give you an opportunity for the continuation uh, continuation down first close gap and then if we do breach the lows of Friday then you're looking at one of these three levels here uh, 45 60 45 50 and 45 40 uh, that would be the area to be targeted anyway that's kind of my view at the moment um, really really cautious and we'll wait and see what transpires you know this thing was what two and a half percent down on Friday and we're now uh, one one point one percent up at the moment um, after hours so yeah I'll just wait and wait for the uh, the chaos to settle before jumping in on anything. Anyway, that's kind of my view this morning. Hope it helps, and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.